Hi, um, I'm a student here at UMD. I'm actively involved in politics, so reading articles and watching the news and things like that. And uh, my question is actually about the hot subject of Obamacare here in Minnesota. Um, when you wanted to bring Obamacare here in Minnesota, you said that was going to lower um, the cost and allow more access to people, which from everything I've seen and read, uh, most of both untrue. So I was wondering if you were still behind Obamacare or if you're looking to explore other options. Well, again, 15 years ago, I, I came off for single payer, which right? would be, you know, like Social Security, like Medicare, or government, you know, pick your doctors and pick your services, but be a single payer and bypass all the insurance uh, administrative overhead, which is over 20%. But the federal government passed the Affordable Care Act, and Minnesota has challenged the three U.S. Supreme Court rule constitutional. So we had one of two choices in Minnesota: we either opt for the the federal exchange, which 36 states did, which serves all of those states through the, the concept of the exchange, or we could set up our own. And we were one of 14 states that chose to set up our own. First of all, Affordable Care Act is a lot more than the exchanges when they're a simple part of it. Affordable Care Act also means that you could be covered under your parents' health insurance plan until so you're age 26. It means that people cannot be excluded from health care insurance because they have prior medical conditions. It removes the lifetime cap on what people can spend for uh, extraordinary medical needs. It uh, provides for free uh, screening for such things as breast cancer, prostate cancer. So it's a lot more comprehensive coverage. And I know from my experience, especially in the Senate, I, we had a health care helpline. We got calls after call from somebody who had insurance. They thought they were insured, they thought they were covered. They've been paying in for five years, sometimes 15, 25 years. And then they got sick or somebody in the family and they discovered insurance companies said, sorry, we don't cover that. Uh, that's a uh, that's an experimental uh, technique, and you know people are just destroyed. Half the personal bankruptcies in this country are beca because of medical expenses, uncovered, uninsured, and the like. So that's what Obamacare was trying to address, trying to trying to improve. Has it done so? I'd say definitely in terms of those requirements. Does it mean that the rates are going to go up to cover all those? Uh, the, the, that initial coverage, yes. The idea was that the competition through the exchange and allowing people to have the information to choose their own health insurance plan was going to enable the free market, the competitive market, to bring those uh, prices down. That hasn't happened yet. Minnesota has the lowest rates of any state in the nation, so we just start out better off than, than any other state. But we don't have the, the information yet to know and we won't know for a couple of years whether those rates are going to go up or we, the competition is going to bring them down. Insurance overall out of the water has been horrible. I, I'm, and I'm responsible in Minnesota. I'm the chief executive and the you know, buck stops here. You know, the federal, federally uh, Affordable Care Act certainly posed some, some problems on the states. And, but the state legislation, I told other state legislators, the state legislation is fine. And there's nothing that's going wrong with Minnesota now that I can attribute to the state legislation. To federal legislation, yes. But the primary responsibility has been the law. It's been, it's been terrible. And way below, it's my biggest disappointment, frustration uh, during my, you know, three years of my term. We're going to work do everything we can to make it better. We will make it better. I'm confident in it better now than it was uh, two months ago, and it's going to be better two months from now than it was then, and whether it takes uh, four months or six months, eight months to really get it working the way it should, uh, I deeply regret that, but we're going to get there. Thank you.